My name is Emily Haxby, and I grew up on a farm outside of Claytonia. As a Gage County native, I cherish our community ties and values. After getting my bachelor's in animal science from UNL, I moved back to where I grew up and started a family with my husband, Justin. My family is committed to a life of farming and livestock where financial management is key to success. Along with farming, we own and operate Haxby Welding and Fabrication. I feel that I have good roots in the community. I understand the challenges faced by Gage County, and I'm invested in creating a better future by representing you as District 2 County Supervisor with bringing fresh new ideas to the board. I think economic growth is important for the county with our current financial situation. We need to make sure that Gage County stays competitive. One way to do that is keep developing, maintaining our highway system because the, ec the economy grows around good infrastructure. We've been doing great with that in the past and we need to continue to develop in the future. I support what Engage is doing currently to further drive our economic development. And I think we need to look at zoning requirements to make sure that we're doing all we can to ensure that Gage County continues to grow. I'm a proponent of setbacks because it gives residents the opportunity to educate themselves and the choice of whether or not they want the impacts of turbines on their property. There are a lot of impacts to consider, like the ability to use spray planes in the area, loss of insect control with bats that affects crop revenue, and the devaluation, devaluation of property versus the payments made by the company. But in the end, the residents should be the ones to make the decision, and these setbacks would allow property owners to decide whether or not it's right for them versus the wind company. Mm -hmm. I'll always listen to constituents involved to make the best decision for everyone. While I do not support wind energy in Gage County, I believe we need to provide an opportunity to those who do support it, which is what I believe these setbacks would accomplish. There are other options for clean energy, and I think that we need to look into them and make sure that we're setting regulations that protect everyone. I don't know about significant changes, but roads and bridges are always a, an ongoing expense, and they have to be maintained because lack of maintenance can cost more than just keeping them up. I would be interested in looking into quality of rock and gravel with the cost of transporting and if improvements could be made in any way. As for bridges, I know that we're doing everything we can with our financial situation to make improvements. Um, they're working with county bridge management programs that matches 55% 55, 55 up to 200000 and they keep applying for as many as they can. Unfortunately, taking a project like that on as a county is out of the question, but I fully support looking into additional funding programs to utilize those as much as we can. Continue economic development because it is key to growth of our uh, county. That is how we pay our bills and upkeep our county as a whole. Um, like I said, um, developing and maintaining our highway system because our, our economy does grow around a good infrastructure. Um, it's just something that we need to keep up on and Engage is doing great to do that. Um, and coming back to the zoning requirements, um, economic growth is based on the people that come here and, and we as we grow as a community um, and, and making sure our requirements, our zoning requirements are effective at allowing the county to grow. Um, I guess based on my experiences of running our farming and livestock operations, um, I understand like our need to reduce spending. There are a lot of services that maybe we could consolidate to balance the working processes and agencies that will keep trust with our constituents. Um, sometimes cheaper isn't always the best option, but we need to look at cutting costs um, as a whole, but not at the expense of the taxpayer. Uh, we've done a great job with trying to manage this Beatrice 6 case um, after that payment's made. I think that every dollar that is spent needs to be spent wisely so we don't have to tax uh, our constituents any more than we need to while maintaining the county needs as well as driving economic development. 
uh, I really just implement listening to all the residents and um, hearing out experts to find the best solution for the future of Gage County. I think we need to uh, just take the time to, to hear them out and decide what's best moving forward. I have uh, a lot of lifetime of experience here and I would just like to share what I have in my new ideas as part of the board. Okay, I'm Monty Merkel. I live near Claytonia. I've been farming around the area since 1983. Uh, I'm uh, 1987 graduate from UNL with a bachelor's degree in business administration. I'm the father of two amazing daughters. Uh, some things I've been involved in or part of in the Claytonia, Claytonia community would be uh, the Claytonia Fire and Claytonia Rescue Department. I've been on both of those for 30 plus years. Served as a lieutenant, training officer, president, probably some other offices. Uh, in the 90s, I was on the Claytonia Township Board, and I've been a member of St. Paul's Lutheran Church here for about 26 years now. Been on various offices there, down to maintenance, Sunday school superintendent, council chairman, and more recently, the general treasurer. Uh, for the last seven years, I've been on the Gage County Planning and Zoning Commission, and so I've been involved in several things here in the Claytonia area and the Gage County area, and I think Gage County is an important uh, part of the state of Nebraska, and so I guess it's time to step up and, and do some stuff for for the stewardship of the county. So I guess that's, that's who I am and what I've been about. Number one priority or project would probably be to maintain the EMS programs that we have in the county. Um, you know, they've been existing, so continue to pay for them the way they have been. Um, we really don't have any new top of the chart type things that I'm looking to change or add that look out for the EMS, uh, probably look out for folks that maybe don't have as strong a voice, you know, some of the Folks maybe with intellectual challenges and so on, that's an important part to me as well. But a lot of that's got to be seen what, what's available first. Well, the, the wind energy is a, is a pretty popular topic right now. And like I said, I serve on the Planning and Zoning Commission, and we're in, kind of in the process now of, of considering changing some regulations. Um, there's been some talk of some possible projects in the county, and so we're we're reevaluating re that. Um, as far as me as a person, you know, I'm I'm pretty neutral on wind turbines. If we're going to have them, we got to have them be safe. Um, I don't wouldn't say that I'm against them by any stretch, but I'm not going to say that we need wind turbines strung out all over the place either. Like I said, they need to be safe and and be a benefit to the entire county. Um, solar is, would fall into that same category. You know, we'd treat them somewhat like we do uh, livestock facilities and everything else. I mean, there's, there's gotta be regulations in place and, and again, that's something that Planning and Zoning Board is, is working on currently, so. No, there really isn't. Um, there, once I'm, if I get elected, once they're, I'm there, um, there's different areas that the county takes care of that I think the average resident probably doesn't realize. And so without looking at them on a line-by-line on -line basis and see what where they set now, it's kind of hard to make judgment on if something needs to be changed, but uh, certainly would be willing to evaluate those situations. You know, you're right. Economic development is important to the county. Um, I've always been an advocate to to do business locally and so if we can get more businesses that would would help the, lo the local businesses that are existing but as far as the, the county having a rule um, I think they can partner with the various communities uh, the 
say like Claytonia, Beatrice, Adams, Wymore, all the communities in the county, so that you can get some county-wide stuff going. Uh, but as far as how to pay for it, again, that's something I'd have to look at at the uh, the treasury of the county to start with to see what's available. And anytime you're going to spend money on something, you're going to be probably taking it away from somewhere else. So those all have to be weighed out. Greater focus to a particular form of get county government. Um, you know, the Board of Supervisors are involved with so much, uh, probably the board itself and then how it functions and, and what their jobs are so that the that, uh, taxpayers can be more informed. Um, that's a continuous education topic. Uh, you know, all of us are guilty of thinking we know what needs to be done or how to be how to do it, how to go about it, but until you're involved with it, it's really hard to pinpoint how that's going to happen. Yeah, um, again, I'm running for the District 2 of the County Supervisors Board, and I guess my experience of being involved with some of the other boards in the, on the smaller stages, I think, uh, would be a benefit. And what's important to me is good stewardship of the county, and I think that's what uh, the voters really need. And so that's why I think that that platform is the way to go. Uh, this is Linda DeAndre Thompson. I'm running for uh, District 2 for County Supervisor in Gage County. I'm running because I'm one of those people that believe uh, that you don't just talk about something getting done, you get in there and help get it done. Um, I'm aggressive. I'm confidential. I'm a business owner. I also live on a farm. And so I know what goes on in the city and in the country. Uh, I work with people well. I'm well known in the community as I was born and raised in Gage County. So I ran for county supervisor back in 2000, right around there, and I loved it. And I just feel that I have a lot to offer now that my life is different and I am a business owner, but it's just different now, and I have more time, and I want to help as much as I can for the community. My number one project, I believe, is to work together with everyone. The city and the county has done an amazing job working together, more so than they did 20 years ago, and I'm very proud of that. Um, there's so many projects that need to get done in Gage County that just being the newbie here uh, and just throwing in my, my hat in the ring and wanting to get started, there's so many that I'd like to see done. But the biggest one, I believe, is to make sure that our infrastructure, our bridges and roads are in great repair, not just good. It's been years since some of them have even been looked at or touched. And I want to make sure that the roads are safe. We have bigger trucks on the roads today. We have more school buses, things that way, and I want to make sure it's safe for everyone. So I kind of believe my biggest thing would be making sure the roads and, and bridges are safe. Okay, on the wind turbines, um, like I said, I, I live out in the country. We don't have any of the turbines by me right now. Now I live just really close to Pickerel, so as I understand it, they're wanting to put some wind turbines out that way, the Claytonia area, uh, Pickerel. I do know that I've been around and near the ones there in the Diller Odell area. As am I for it or against it? You know, it's not really my opinion. It's the people's opinion, and that's what I want to do. I want to work for the people and voice what they want, not just what I want. Um, like I said, I don't live within uh, a half a mile or three-eighths of a mile of any of the turbines. So I hear about the noise issue. Um, I've driven by some of them. I really don't hear a lot of noise in other areas I have. 
but I guess it's just where they are put in and stuff. But it's an energy thing that I feel that we do need, and yet I want to know what the people out there really want. I want to voice their opinion. Oh, my gosh, something that needs significant changes. Again, not being in there in several years, And, yes, I do listen to the radio. I read things in the paper, you know. So I know what's going on in the community, but to just kind of pinpoint one thing that really needs to be changed or done, um, I can't say there is. I think having this uh, coronavirus that's gone around um, and watching the people work closer together, I think maybe the one thing we need to work real strong on is to make sure that, uh, we have a nice safety plan, some kind of a, a structural setup. And I know that that uh, the fire department and the police department and all of that have worked so well together on this virus, um, the hospitals and all, but something for all the people to know about, know a little bit more about it, um, I think would be something really important to do. In using tax dollars, I think that they have done a good job so far with economic development. I think, again, everyone is working well together. Uh, With Walter in there in the chamber, um, I liked his approach on how he got things started and done. He went after the types of businesses that we wanted and needed, not just any business to put them in. Because if you go that route, I feel that those people don't really stay. I mean, if you want to have more lawnmower businesses, um, industry that way, that's what we need to go after. And with what's happened, again, with the virus, um, so many things have been shipped over to China and different countries to get done and and made and repaired and whatever. If we could get those kind of uh, companies to stay here in the United States, And here in the Midwest, we're right in the center of the U.S. What better place to be to to reach out to every state, every county in the country is right here. And we need to jump on that. You know, the thing comes to my mind, uh, the movie, uh, Build It and They Will Come, um, uh, A River Runs Through It, those kind of movies. People come there and they do it. We can do the same thing in Beatrice. We can get those companies here, and we just need to work harder and smarter getting the people here and working as a community. I think maybe the Sheriff's Department. Um, When I was on the board before, I did have that as one of my committees, and I enjoyed it. I met different law officers, um, deputies, et cetera, throughout the state and learned how they did different things, whether it's uh, cutting down on crime, um, whatever it might be. I Maybe I watch too much NCIS or Blue Bloods or whatever on TV, but that is kind of a passion of mine. I like to see things get done. I like to see it get done well. I feel we have a great sheriff's department, a great police department, If there's something I can do that way to save them money, to make their job easier, you know, the first responders, anything to help those people is what I'd really, really like to see happen. And serving on the county board, that would be one of my prime objectives is to jump in there and help wherever I can with first responders and cut down on the crime and and the negativity that we have. I feel the voters should choose me, Linda DeAndre Thompson, as their next District 2 County Supervisor um, because I do care about the community. I have the time and the effort to help where I can. I'm well known. I was born and raised in Beatrice. Uh, I raised my, my kids here in Beatrice. I've ran a group home and raised 66 foster kids over my lifetime in Beatrice. I help my husband somewhat on the farm. Um, I don't help him with uh, giving shots and things like that to the cattle or the sheep, but I'm there and I help. Um, I 
feel that I know a lot about the actress. I know the people, and again, they do know me. I have a real estate business. I had a daycare for 33 years, 11 months, three weeks, five days, and met so many wonderful people here. I've actually been told that I should be with the chamber more because people have come into my building when it was Chamber of Commerce and have asked questions, and I've been right there to answer as many questions as I can and to help them feel comfortable in Beatrice, in Gage County. Hi, this is John Hill of Holmesville. I'm running for re-election to the Gage County Board. I've enjoyed uh, serving on the board the last eight years, and we've got a good board at this time and want to follow through on some projects. I've enjoyed periodically attending the town, he town halls and the fire department and EMS unit meetings within my district, getting to know these people better and the tremendous effort and pride that they put into their communities. I also serve on the Board of Public Health, Blue Valley Community Action, and uh, Blue River Dairy on Aging. And obviously these groups are facing significant challenges right now. Thank you. I'm not sure we have a number one priority program or project. Uh, our, our focus at this time needs to be to maintain our infrastructure. Obviously we need to maintain our courthouse. Uh, we've done a number of uh, projects to help uh, uh, with the weather coating of the stone. Uh, we need to uh, maintain our roads and bridges, obviously. Uh, we have significant cost increases in rock and gravel, but we're continuing to cope. And, you know, at this time, there's not much, op there's not an option for a bond, um, but we need to do the most cost effective things we can do to arm to keep those in good shape, including armor coating, which I pushed hard on to do because it is the most cost-effective way to maintain our asphalt roads. I'm not, uh, I'm not opposed to them, but obviously they require a great deal of siting thought. And, you know, that's going back to the uh, planning and zoning process again, and unfortunately some of that's on hold because of the COVID-19 pandemic. And there's a lot more information known now than there was five years ago when we pretty much approved our regs then. Um, it needs to be looked at. It needs to be looked at the effects on, you know, there's new studies that show effects on, uh, you know, nearby crops and it has effects on aerial planes and that. They need to be cited carefully so that they are, you know, a positive benefit to the area and not uh, in the wrong area. And they also need to have a decommissioning plan in place at the time they're approved in my own opinion. I'm not, um, I don't know about significant changes. We're always looking to, you know, make the um, department as good as possible. I mean, it needs to be remembered that almost all of our departments have an elected official that are their own, um, in charge of their own departments. I mean, all we have is the uh, uh, oversight of their budget. But that isn't, we have good elected officials and we provide input to them, they ask for it, uh, and we go from there. Well, I, the role of the county is, as it is now, uh, we provide dollars to engage, as well as the city and some private businesses and industries. And our role is to provide funding to them. Their role is to recruit and attract uh, new business, new industry, uh, especially something that's helpful for the ag community and existing businesses types that we have in our area. Um, obviously, they can help them with the grant process and application and all the paperwork, but um, the funding for that side of it comes from, you know, outside of county funds. It comes from state and federal funding. I'm not, uh, I'm not finding one specific area that I'm thinking of right now. I just think in, in general, we need to continue to represent the county, um, help it be a little bit more open so people can interact better with us and um, just improve overall services. 
I would like to continue to serve Gage County. I enjoyed being on the board at this time. I've gained a lot of experience. Um, I truly enjoyed meeting the people throughout the district that I didn't know before. Uh, there's just a lot of a uh, lot of people doing a lot for their local communities, and they're very dedicated and very passionate about their own communities. And I'd like to help them in any way possible that I can as a county supervisor. Hi, I'm Don Sheeler, and I'm running for County Supervisor uh, for District 6. I'm a lifelong resident of Gage County. I have farmed my entire adult life on the farm where I was raised. I worked for the County Surveyor for six years. I retired in 2011 from the Natural Resources Conservation Service after spending 30 years serving the landowners of Gage County. I want to continue to serve the people of Gage County. I organized the Gage Taxpayers Organization to keep taxpayers informed on property tax relief in an effort to make a difference in county and state decisions. I feel a strong responsibility to the people of Gage County. I've been involved with some county issues with the side, from the sidelines looking in. I want to be on the inside working as a team with the board to make decisions. I do not have an agenda. I'm interested in all aspects of county issues. Well, from the outside looking in, and from what I read, one of the major things that we have that is an issue is the overcrowding of our jails. We've already spent money on the existing facility, which we have to keep in mind and uh, not make bad decisions in uh, using that facility and continuing to go in that direction. Although I'm sure that the existing board has a plan and we just have to continue to go down that road. I think there are ways to perhaps keep some out of the county jails. But we'll just have to see how that you know, goes as they proceed here. As far as paying for it, I'm not acquainted well enough with the budgets of the county to be able to give a good answer on that. Somewhere, some place has to give but other places need funding too and have demands in the county's budget. I'm not opposed or against or in favor of either way on the windmills. I'm open-minded on that. I want to research it more and talk to those who live in the areas of the windmills. There is a controversial issue and very heartfelt by those that live in the area that may have the wind towers, and that is a concern for me. But on the other hand, there are parts of the county that uh, people may want to have the wind towers if they have the opportunity. So I think we need to be considerate of the entire county and not just certain areas. I believe in respecting the thought process that the Planning and Zoning Committee has spent time doing. They deserve their respect. But I also know that we need to make the decision to keep things progressive here in Gage County. I'm not opposed to solar energy. I have to probably prefer that over wind. Well, one of the things that I've noticed is the county roads and the road ditches uh, being maintained, and I mean as far as mowing them and keeping the trees out of them. Uh, living in the country myself and driving the county roads not all the roadsides are getting mowed right now. The landowners are supposed to maintain the road ditches themselves, keep the trees cut out of them, and mow the roadsides. And in many places, that's not getting done. So that's something I think uh, we need to look at. Uh, do we need to go back and do what the county used to do and take care of them ourselves? Because it is a liability to the county to maintain those or we're going to have to enforce what's in place right now and that's something as being a board member i will be more knowledgeable on and be able to make a better decision in the future for the county certainly needs to be involved we need to be progressive in what we can do to help uh, bring economic development into the county also i think 
perhaps we could use some of that economic development money that is allotted right now, or if we can afford to generate other funds somehow, but to help reduce the number of vacant buildings in the county and in the communities, to help clean up the area so that uh, we have less chances for places for meth labs to be uh, used in, although they'll always find some place. But I think a lot of these little building sites, and I don't know if there's something the county can do or get involved with, but that to me is economic development. When you can make your county look good, your communities look good, and make it attractive for people to come into our community. Well, obviously our roads have, uh, is very important. I uh, have wrote letters to the editor in the past when in favor of the county uh, road bond that was passed a few years ago, and I'm glad that did pass, and I would continue to support road improvements and maintenance, and the county board has done a good job with that. There is uh, a couple projects that I would like to see uh, when the opportunity is right, is to have some additional uh, paving or asphalt done to a few miles here in Gage County that I think is important to have done when we can afford to do it and the timing is right. Yes, my philosophy is that if you want something to happen, you have to make it happen. You don't sit on your hands and hope somebody else does it or that it falls into place by itself. Therefore, I speak up for what I believe in. I research both sides of an issue and will not rush to an uninformed decision. I'm a good listener and will listen to all concerns. I care about people and the issues that affect their lives. I believe in good communication between the representatives and the people they serve. And I will strive to be a good representative. And thank you to the Beatrice Chamber of Commerce for conducting this forum.